مثل الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله كمثل حبة أنبتت سبع سنابل في كل سنبلة مئة حبة والله يضاعف لمن يشاء والله واسع عليم صلى الله عليه وسلم says if the son of Adam which means a human being passes away his deeds are all cut they are cut off except three things what are these three things I need to know because yes I will fulfill my salah I will read the Quran I will do good deeds as best as I can and we all know that your books are closed once you die and now your deeds are being registered but there are certain types of deeds that will continue up to the end of time for as long as the benefit of what you've done continues what are these deeds I need to know them I really need to know them because once I know them I will make it my duty to try my best to engage in one of them if not all of them so the first thing mentioned in the hadith of Abu Hurairah he says quite clearly which means a charity not any old ordinary charity but that which is jariyah what is the meaning of jariyah that which is flowing or continuing it flows I'm gone but what I did the benefit of it continues so you establish a school for example you will perhaps die in fact you have to and so will I but if that school teaches goodness and continues for hundreds of years centuries sometimes by the will of Allah you will achieve a great reward imagine this is why the hadith says man bana lillahi masjidan bana Allahu lahu baytan fil jannah whoever builds for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a house the hadith says for such a person Allah will build a house in paradise a lot of us here perhaps we would never be able to afford to build an entire masjid on our own so at least contribute with one brick planting a tree nobody can tell me that they cannot do that plant a fruit tree or a tree that provides shade trust me the hadith says you will continue to receive a reward even after you have died for as long as the tree remains the day the tree is cut off that's the day your reward slices the second part of the hadith says knowledge that is being benefited from that was left behind by the person who passed away their reward will continue even after they have passed away. So if I taught you how to read Quran, if I taught you something good and the scholars have spoken of two types of knowledge, that knowledge which is religious, which is connected to your link between you and Allah, that is definitely there. But even the knowledge that is connected to the worldly life that is beneficial, is also included in this. Why? One narration, the Prophet ﷺ clearly says, the best from amongst you, those who have learned the Quran and taught it, the best. You cannot compete with that person. So one might ask, what does it mean? It means all disciplines connected to the Quran. Everything, not only the recitation, that's included, but not only that. The recitation, the perfection of the recitation, yes. The memorization and the perfection of it, yes. The translation and the perfection of it, yes. The tafsir and the deeper explanation and the perfection of it, yes. So take a look at the last part of this hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu in Sahih Muslim. We said the first is sadaqatun jariya, that is the, the deed we are talking about. And that continues later on after a person has passed away. The second is knowledge that is benefited from after you've passed away. And sometimes that knowledge could be in the form of CDs, in the form of discs, in the form of books, in the form of uh, apps, in the form of so many other things. Trust me, that is you building your palace in the Akhirah. May Allah help us. That is you building your palace in the Akhirah. That is something you need more desperately than the vehicles of today and these houses of today and the gadgets of today. What I need more desperately than that is Jannah, it is paradise. Even if I've been able to purchase all the things of the world, the day I fall into that pit, what is it that's going to help me in the pit? If a person has left behind progeny and children who pray for him, that will be an automatic charity that is continuing. It will continue after you've passed away. This means that for me to spend time with my children is already an investment for the Akhirah.